Well, hello champions and welcome back to It's Donnie Wani Time. As you can see, it's cooking time with Donnie Wani. Donnie Wani is here today to try out a new recipe that I have seen floating around on the internet. Okay, so I figured it sounds so simple and if it's going to taste as good as it looks, I am all for it because y'all know I am all about that simple life. So what it is, it is corn on the cob cooked in the uh, crock pot, slow cooker. <clears throat> and it says that, you know, we have a tendency to overcook our corn when we boil it. That's the traditional way to cook it is to boil it on top of the stove in water that's covered it up and yada, yada, yada. And I have always thought to myself that, you know, is it the nutrients and the vitamins that are in the corn aren't we just cooking that away boiling that away in the water so now I came across this um, recipe and it's called slow cooker corn on the cob and so I figured I'd try it out now <clears throat> this week one of my co-workers brought me some fresh corn so I just shook the corn and I'm so sorry that I didn't film it um, I wasn't even thinking about it actually I just shook the corn this is three ears and then I cut them in half to make six smaller sizes uh, <coughs> since it's going in the crock pot now I'm a, I would imagine that you could also do this with the frozen corn um, that you buy in the grocery stores I would imagine it still needs to be cooked so I would imagine and I just thought that this this recipe would be real quick and simple now it says for the recipe that you need 8 to 10 ears of corn a third cup of water a tablespoon of lemon juice unsalted butter to taste kosher salt and freshly ground pepper to taste with fresh herbs or green onion to taste as well I have all of these ingredients here in my home so it wasn't like I had to go and buy something Okay, so the preparation on it says that you place the corn in the slow cooker and pour in a third cup of water. Okay, so like I said, this is already, this is fresh corn, not frozen, fresh frozen. It was fresh um, and I, uh, oops, and I just, uh, you know, took it off the shuck and cut it in half. Okay. So, now that the corn, as you can see, the corn is in the crock pot. Then it says to add a third cup of water. So here's my water, and we're going to add a third cup. A third cup is very, very little water, guys. Look at this. It is very little water. I don't know if you can see it, but it's very little water. But the idea, the technique behind this, there we go. It's very little water. The technique behind this is to steam the corn and not to boil the corn. Okay? So, uh, there we go. So, then it says, once you add a third cup of water, you cook on high for two and a half to three hours or until corn is bright yellow and tender okay so we're going to turn it on here if I can figure out how to turn it on oh it would help if it was plugged in <laughs> yeah, Bursa, help a sister out y'all <laughs> Okay, so turn it on high for two and a half hours. We have it set. We are putting the top on it. And we're going to let it cook for this two and a half hours, guys. So, I'll be back in two hours to show you what it looks like. Um, and we're going to see if this stuff really, really works. Because if it does... Honey, this is something that is going to be a time saver. I can see myself doing this for like when I have company coming over for cookouts and stuff like that. Like the 4th of July is coming up. So I think this will be awesome, you know, for the 4th of July because it's not taking up room on the okay, grill. champion. So we are two hours in with this corn on the cob 
in the crock pot. So now let's see what it's looking like. Okay, so here we go. And as you can see, the fork is going through and bringing out the kernels. So, and this was fresh corn on the cob. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm surprised. But I'm going to let it cook another 30 minutes. And then I'll come back and we'll do the final end to this video. Okay, champions. So, now we are two and a half hours in. And I'm going to show you what the corn looks like. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's see. Will that help if I turn on a the light? There we go. Um, so here's what the corn is looking like. Now I will say, as you can see from that one there, you have to watch it to make sure that it doesn't stay upside, you know, keep laying up against the sides of the crock pot because remember the, there's no water up here to protect it so it will cook and almost burn on you but that's cool and as you can see the corn it, it, it's, it's tender okay so as it says it is now done and we are going to pull an ear out and put it into the other ingredients so that we can eat it. Okay, so now as you can see, I already have my melted butter in here. I'm going to add to it because I'm going according to the recipe. I did venture off a little bit on the recipe because I added butter to the water. Um, but I'm going to put in a teaspoon. Is it a teaspoon? It's a tablespoon of lemon juice. So we're going to add a tablespoon of lemon juice, as you can see, and we're going to pour that in. And then we're going to add kosher salt to taste, and I'm going to be using this North American kosher salt. Okay? I used my trusty handy dandy real lemon lemon juice. And we're going to add just a little bit of kosher salt. And then, of course, I'm going to add uh, some coarse black pepper. Okay. And we're going to stir this up. Okay. Got that stirred up. And so now we are going to take a piece of the corn. Oh, I didn't have a, a little thingy out. So now we're going to take a piece of the corn out. And let me just get it out. Uh, let's go for this one. Now mind you, this was fresh corn. So I've taken a piece of the corn out. And we're going to roll it around in this good concoction here. Because I like me some good buttered uh, corn on the cob. And I like for it to be all just buttery. Okay. So now we've done that. And then we're going to add just a little bit of parsley. For the greenery. Um, you know, presentation. But, trying to get it open here. So we're going to add just a little bit of parsley. Okay. And for me, because I like, <laughs> I like it dripping in butter, I'm just going to add, pour a little of this on here. Oh. Oh, if y'all could smell it though. Ooh. It smells like good fresh corn on the cob. Okay. And now we are going to try it out. 
and see what it tastes okay, like. Champion. So I'm back. We're going to test out this corn on the cob. Y'all excuse how I look. It's uh, Sunday morning and I washed my hair. It's washed the hair day and I did that and all of that while I was waiting for my corn to cook. Now, as you can see, I have my corn here. And I'm just going to swirl it around and we're going to see what this tastes like. Now it still is a bit hot because I just took it out of the, uh, just took it out of the uh, slow cooker. Mmm. Oh my. But that, that's, that seasoning is pretty doggone good. So here we are and we're going to try it out. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It is quite tender. And it is very, very, very good. Now because I like spicy, I'm gonna add a little. I'm gonna add a little of this uh, slap your mama. Cajun seasoning to it, and I'll t ooh, and I'll tell you what also would be good on this corn with some lemon pepper seasoning. But guys, it really is good. It really is tender. It, that that steaming just brought out all of the natural flavors of the corn. Mmm. 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 Oh, that pepper went down my throat. Mmm. <coughs> Guys, I must say that it did work. I found a new way to cook corn on the cob in bulk. I did not have to worry about it. I will say that instead to use a third of a cup of water, and I had these, you know, this was full ears, fresh corn. But I did go back in and add just a little bit more water while it was cooking because I could smell the corn like, like cooking, cooking. And I'm glad I did because that's when I saw the corn upside, up against the side. And so there was no water up there to protect it. So it was cooking because the whole pot is hot. So I would say that you need to check on your corn and just add water as needed, but you don't want to cover the corn up. That defeats the whole purpose of steaming it. But guys, this is very good. And I want to say that the recipe did work. So. Y'all give it a try. Y'all got y'all know y'all getting ready to be doing that corn for the 4th of July weekend and all of these other holiday weekends. And I would also add that this is a good way to have corn on the cob all year long. Just put it in and go. You know, and even if you do it on a Saturday, I would think that it would preserve well for a Sunday dinner by wrapping it up well put it in, in the refrigerator and maybe just steaming it a little bit more just to take the chill off of it um, when you're ready to serve it. So that's it guys. I want to say this corn is absolutely delicious. Mm. Mm. I love the juice. The juice and corn on the cob is the best part to me. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. So Mm -hmm. mm. I want to say thank you so much for watching and tuning in to this recipe today. To my new champions, thank you so much for, <coughs> for subscribing and joining this Donnie Wani time. To my ride or die, thank you so much. <coughs> oh, I'm eating it so fast, I'm getting choked because it's so good. <coughs> Ooh. But to my ride or die, thank you so much for tuning in and always supporting my channel. And until the next time, champions, have a most blessed day. Be safe out there in the world. 
and keep that smile on your face no matter what it is that you encounter you just keep that smile and sometimes it's always good to to combat negativity negativity with i will pray for you so mm -hmm. smooches mm. that's so good mm. And I just love this juice. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. You know what? This will work real well with that frozen corn. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh, my.